Today, I will guide you through the Contrail Cloud presentation from Juniper Networks, and also how the service providers can benefit of this system. So, when we look at the service provider business challenges today, we see that they are operating a model offering services to their customers in a network with a lot of manual operations involved. Also, they are operating a very inflexible and static infrastructure, and there is a long time to market and long time to revenue in the model they are operating today. This all together carries our associ uh, uh, big associated risks today um, that are limiting their innovation. So what we say is that operating an inflexible and slow to provision system, when the market receives that service that's been planned months ago, it might not always be the service that is needed any longer. Therefore, those challenges are the ones that need to be fixed. When we look at the market they are serving, for example, the enterprises, the enterprises are already using systems that are implemented in a very agile way and they are almost in instantaneously. Cloud services, for example, that are accessible from enterprises today, they are all driven by a customer portal that they activate the service and in, it's a matter of minutes that the service is up and running. In contrast, the service provider looks very slow and not innovative. Some service providers have al already started to fix that. So what we see is that today is you say what you want, you receive a call by filling a form, and hopefully you will get a service in, configured in a few weeks, but it's still not very instantaneously. The reason of that is, again, manual operations involved, and it's also uh, a lot of equipment that is not very flexible and needs to be deployed for every specific customer request. So the customer wants something that is quick and easy for them to access. This will also increase the, the usage of this, ultimately the revenue for the service provider. So what can service providers do today? So service providers can start operating a model that is fully uh, driven through a port, customer self-service portal where they can offer the basic connectivity services, so where customers can modify the different uh, patterns that they can receive, but they can also start introducing very innovative services that are now virtualized with the usage of uh, cloud and NFB. They can have firewalls that are now virtual firewalls and they will be sitting in virtual machines so they can be instantiated almost instantaneously. And they can add all sorts of different elements as an offering for their customers. Those customers will be operating now a portal, a portal that after logging in, they will see the services they have, they'll see their billing patterns, they can add new services and they will receive them in a matter of minutes. So we see that this would increase the business agility ultimately will increase the customer satisfaction when using the particular services of this service provider. How can we make it possible from Juniper Networks? So what we are presenting here, the, the Contrail Cloud solution and the advantage that it carries is basically that we bring different components together. So a service provider, when they are building their cloud to host the NFB services, they have multitude of elements that they need to bring together. So we are simplifying them here by providing a platform that will integrate Contrail, but we also integrate the, the different orchestrators that are going to use. But it also comes with a hardware reference architecture that it brings the compute, the storage, and also the network pools that this cloud service can get access to. When we test those two things together and we create this reference architecture, to the customer, we are shortening the time for this service provider to bring this new cloud service or this new actually cloud architecture for themselves because we've done the test against multiple of those elements. Because we bring multiple elements, we still keep this freedom of choice. We are not forcing the service providers to follow any specific uh, vendor ar architecture. Actually, they have still the choice that will allow them to incorporate different elements that will help them to differentiate their offering. It brings intelligent automation and it's always and always on reliability that Juniper has tested and can prove to the customers. Ultimately, then the customer benefits will be that their services are faster now to market and operationally they are um, excellent from day one because it's been tested. So agility without limits, cloud service automation at scale. What is the compet competitive advantage that we're bringing here into this market? First of all, we bring a turnkey NFB platform with an architecture that for the Juniper and our partners all together. We've tested that with the services chosen in the market and looking at what our customers are really needed to use.
Secondly, it's the most highly scalable and um, highly available solution in the, in the SDN and NFB market today. It also brings a um, cloud management platform. Remember that those network uh, functions now, they run in two servers, so we need to manage it all together and we cannot fall in any of the different issues that the, this will be. Ultimately, the end user will be experiencing the exact same service from this virtual network to the physical one. And finally, this is a perspective and granular analytics that drive insights for cloud automation. This is key for our customers to get an open, scalable platform with rich analytics that will provide the flexibility and operationally efficiency that they expect. With that, this is the presentation of Control Cloud from Juniper Networks.